Martin Racing Performance, the most advanced no, part. Uh, no, 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 Scooter Sonics. <laughs> <laughs> that might come out in the bloopers. Well, today we're out at Scooter Tronics out in Maryland. Uh, we're visiting one of the fastest growing non traditional power sports dealers in the country. Uh, they're really busy here right now. And uh, you might have heard of them. They're making uh, a big their presence known on the internet. They got videos on YouTube. They go out to the races. They have a Zuma club, which is amazing. Uh, they got something like 10 members now. Uh, Tommy Thunder, the mechanic here, goes down and races with the, uh, the locals. And uh, they handle repairs for everything. Something I like about the shop is that they repair everything. Now, I'm not just talking about uh, the bikes that they sell. They'll repair Vespas, they'll repair Yamahas. We'll go back there on the bench and we'll see some uh, classic Vespas as well. And that's the rise of the non-traditional scooter shop owner. Somebody who repairs everything. The problem I see with the industry right now is that you walk into a Vespa store uh, and they only fix Vespa or Piaggio. You walk into a Yamaha store and they only want to fix the Yamahas that they sold. They don't want to fix the things that are out there uh, that people are driving. And the truth is that for a scooter shop to survive, you have to fix everything. And Scootertronics is one prime example of how you can make money fixing everything. The other thing is that they're an MRP power dealer. They stock almost everything we sell. They upgrade bikes, they sell accessories, they're on the internet. Uh, I, I can't, I rave about this story. I can't talk about how great this story is. They've grown a lot in the last two years. So let's take a look. We're gonna use Scootertronics as a good example because when I walk into a new store and I see 100 scooters on display, it's just a room full of scooters. That's not going to make you profitable or have a healthy shop that will survive during a downturn or during uh, the off season. You need to have accessories, upgrades, and apparel. And this is why Scootronics is a good example. We're featuring them today because when you walk into the shop, you see their race bike, which is upgraded with Pelini and MRP and Scooter Ninja parts. You see a display. You see a bench that has parts and that they've been working on. You also see in the background a lot of MRP parts. They stock a lot of MRP stuff. They even have a whole little wall here that says MRP on it. Great thing about having an MRP wall display, so you can have everything. Scooter Ninja sliders, MRP rollers, belts, exhaust, lots of MRP exhaust, gates, belts. They stock top name stuff. So when you walk in and you see a little Scooter Ninja display and they have all the rollers and all the, all the sliders in stock, that tells you something about the store. Not every store st does that. Actually, the great majority of Chinese, cheap Chinese stores, they have a little catalog on the counter. And usually that catalog you can buy directly from the manufacturer, sometimes at half the price that you can buy at the store. And they put it on display and they tell you, I'll order it for you, I'll have it here for you in two or three days. That's not the way to create an impression. You have 10 minutes to create an impression. You should have a nice wall. Let's take a look here at Armadillo and show them, showcase the clothing. This is really high-end clothing. It's about safety. It's gonna protect their lives. You got helmets. Here's another MRP dealer in Georgia that has a lot of hel helmets on display. And you explain to them, look, you can, I can sell you all the scooters you want, but that helmet is gonna save your life. That jacket is gonna save your life. And that creates the scooter buying experience because you can buy that scooter anywhere. You can even buy it on the internet. You don't have to go to the shop anymore. The shop has to create an experience. So somebody's gonna buy a Vespa or a Sim or a Kimco, you want to make sure that you have a client for life and you can sell him a jacket, a helmet, you can change his oil next week because he can get his oil for that cheap Chinese scooter at Walmart or Pet Boys. He doesn't have to come to your shop. The reason he's going to come to your shop is because you sell more than just the scooter. The $900 scooter is not going to make the store. It's the accessories, it's the apparel, it's that experience. If you look here, boom, you got helmets. That's an experience for the customer the first time he walks in. Boom, he's got espresso, he's got coffee, there's tables where they can sit and chill out. They got vitamin water. I mean, what a great idea. And you know, for more ideas, visit our website, www.mrp. And I'd like to thank the guys at Sears Tracks for allowing me to film inside their shop.